I'm Rebecca Jacobson, and this is my third year at North Central. I lived in the dorms here ever since my freshman year. Um, and when I discovered Pinterest last year, I discovered that I really like to bake. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make one of my favorite recipes, and that is a Nutella mug cake. To start off with, you're going to need a cake mix, and you're going to take out the cake mix. It's usually like $1.50 at Target. All right, the next step is just following the instructions on the back of the box. So for this, it calls for three ingredients. It calls for water, oil, and eggs. So we're going to start off with our water. I've already measured it out in my measuring cup here. So it calls for a cup of that. So I'm just going to pour it right in. It calls for a third of a cup of oil. And then the last ingredient we need is the eggs. And what's cool about eggs is that they will last about a month in your fridge. And so you don't have to worry about them going rotten or anything until then. All right, so it looks like I have my three eggs. And so our next step is gonna be mixing it all together. And so the cake mark says that I should mix it together for two minutes. All right, and then as you're mixing, you wanna scrape the sides of the bowl just to get all the excess cake mix. After you've mixed your batter for about two minutes, um, it's going to be it's going to be quite thick. It's going to be moistened together and a little lumpy, but that's just the way you want it. Um, and so after that, you're going to just set your batter to the side. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make homemade frosting, uh, which requires powdered sugar, milk, and butter. And then you're going to start off with the two dry ingredients, and then as you mix them together, you're going to add in the milk. So we're going to start off by um, adding our powdered sugar, and for this recipe, I'm going to use a cup of powdered sugar. All right, so I scooped in a cup of powdered sugar in my measuring cup. I'm just going to put that in my bowl right there. I'm going to add a tablespoon of butter. After that is completed, you're going to grab your hand mixer again, and you're going to start mixing this together. And the frosting will take a little while to mix together. Um, it helps if you soften your butter in the microwave beforehand. So once you have the butter um, kind of evenly distributed throughout um, the powdered sugar, you're going to want to take your milk, um, and you're going to add the milk in spurts because you don't want it to be too liquidy. So I'm just going to add a little bit like that. All right, once it gets a little more thick, you're going to want to add some more milk. And depending on how much milk you add, that will determine the thickness of your frosting. And the frosting you're going to want to mix for a while because you just want to make sure that it all gets blended. Alright, it looks like my frosting is done. So then we're going to move on to the actual baking of the cake. I'm just going to start scooping that into my mug. And you only want to fill your mug half full because the cake will rise and you don't want it to overflow out of your mug. So my mug is half full of cake batter, and then we're just going to go over here to the microwave and open it up, and then we're going to put it in for two minutes. We have our mug cake right here. Um, it did go a little bit over the top as you can see, but that's fine. Now that your cake has cooled for about a minute or two, um, you're going to want to take a fork and then you're going to want to scoop in on the side. So you're going to take about half of the cake out, get to the center of it, so just like that, and then put it on your towel to the side. So you're going to want to start with your Nutella, and then I'm just going to start spreading it onto the cake. All right, so you, after you have a nice layer of Nutella in there, it might be a little lopsided like mine, but that's okay. And I have my spoon and my frosting. I'm going to just pour it in just like this. And once you have some in there, and you're going to take your top half of the cake that you had before, and then you're just going to place it right back on there. So it's like a mystery surprise inside. No one knows that you have Nutella and frosting inside in the middle. I'm going to layer my Nutella on top. All right, and then after you have your Nutella, you can take your frosting, and you can pour a little over the top. And there you have it. Your Nutella mug cake. I hope you guys start baking a lot and it's a lot of fun and it's really easy and hopefully you guys don't set any fire alarms off in Carlson or Miller or Phillips. Mm.